If you're having trouble writing your first rap verse, if you're having writer's block, if you've never written a verse before in your life, never written a bar, and you wanna know how it's done, this is the perfect video for you. Because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to write your first rap verse in terms of writing your first ever verse and in terms of writing the first verse in your song so you can start from a blank page and get to something really, really good that you like. But before we imbue our Nen with the properties of both rubber and gum, I've got a question for you. That question is, what are two books that will make your songwriting way better? Leave your answer or your guess in the comment section down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later on in this video. Just stay tuned. The first step is song planning. Now that doesn't sound sexy, but trust me, it's effective. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. First step is to plan and storyboard your song. I'll make a video on how to do this in depth of how to do it for your whole song. But for this video, let's focus on the first verse. First thing you need to do is start with a theme and then plan what your first verse is saying. Let's go into one of my plans right here. This is a plan for a song that I haven't written yet. And honestly, I started this a few months ago, last year actually, and I'm just not in the same mindset right about now, I'm not in the same mood, so I might not finish this. But I feel like it will be a good example to show you what the process is like. So first of all, we've got a theme. The song's called Right. The theme is let's enjoy what we have now because it feels right, okay? Then we outline the song, what's it about? It feels right and we're enjoying ourselves so there's no need to overthink it. It doesn't matter what we become, as what it becomes as long as we enjoy and learn from the journey. There's nothing to gain from worrying about the future. And then I've done some object writing, which is something I need to discuss in full in a different video. You basically have to write using your seven senses and then just brainstorm basically. So you set 10 minutes on a timer and you just go into this writing process and you write whatever comes to mind and then you go into the next step of the process, okay? But we're not gonna get into that right now. There are other things that we can write down like the core emotion, what would be happening if this music was playing in a movie, that sort of stuff that will help you with the planning process. But we're gonna jump right into the plan of the plot. So this is the verse, like in each part of our song, we want to be doing different things. For example, the first verse will be exposition. We're basically explaining what's going on and giving some insight into the situation, the story. Then for the pre-chorus, we have like rising action. So this is when we're leading into the chorus. Maybe something's changed. Maybe we've realized something. And then in the chorus, that's where we have our climax, where we basically hit that main theme home and hone into the title of the song. Then we have DL and expansion in the second verse and rising action again, climax again, okay? So let's start off with our plan for this first verse. So basically we're just writing no rhymes or anything like that. We're just writing what it's about, what we're focusing on in this verse. So in this verse, there's no perfect time for anything. The only thing that exists is us. We like each other and our company. The vibe is right and that's all that matters. All we have is our choices and our perceptions. Okay, that's what's going on there. And then we could go deeper into that, but we're not gonna do it right now. The next step, after you do that, after you plan the plot for your first verse, preferably you plan out the plot for your entire song. But as I said, we'll deal with the entire planning process in another video, but you plan out the plot for your first verse. What are you gonna be talking about? What is the story that you're telling? What is going on? Then you can get onto the next stage. If you don't do this, you may find yourself writing four bars and then thinking, damn, where do I go next? And I've been there, yeah? That's not a good place to be in. That's how you end up with crappy verses and crappy songs that don't really stick on the same subject and don't really seem like they're going somewhere. You need your song to have a core theme and you need it to lead and go somewhere. The next step is to brainstorm a bunch of keywords. Now these are the words that you're gonna be using for your song. This is probably the most time consuming part of the process because it's long. The way to do this is to basically find a word that expresses what your song's about. Maybe it's the title, maybe it's a feeling, maybe it's just some sort of thought. Then go into a thesaurus. I suggest you get this thesaurus. I'll leave a link down below. However, you can use an online thesaurus if you wanna use the crappy method, but trust me, this thesaurus is way better. Now with this thesaurus, you can actually go into the back of the book and you'll see the word that you've picked. And then it will tell you a bunch of other words that you can go and check out that are related to that word. And then when you go to the page that those words are talking about, that those words mention, let me just do a quick example. You won't be able to see the 
the words, but I'll do a quick dive. So let's say a song's about rebellion. Here we go. Rebellion. So in the back of a book, we've got rebellion and then we've got revolution, revolt, undutifulness, lawful, lawlessness. Yeah. And then it tells us what page those words are on. So if we go to revolution, that's on page 149 or word 149. I don't know if these are pages or words. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. But here we've got revolution. And then in that, we've got more than a paragraph of different words, starting from full circle, circuit, rotation, radical change, organic change, tabula rasa, clean slate, clean sweep, a bunch of stuff, yeah? That's my point. That's why this book is so much better than just going to an online thesaurus, because an online thesaurus are just gonna give you words that mean the kind of same thing. This is gonna take you on an absolute journey and give you a bunch of related concepts, related phrases, related words, and a whole lot more. So definitely get this thesaurus, it's gonna help you out a lot. So the first thing you wanna do is pick your word, then use that thesaurus method, go into the back, find your words, go through where it's telling you to go, find those related words, write down words that actually relate to your song. You wanna find more than 15 words that relate to your theme, but make sure you're only writing the best words. Then when you have too many words, at that point, you want to start cutting your words down to about 10 different words. Do you 10 to 12, but 10 is gonna be more than enough if I'm being honest. 12 is, more is always better because it gives you more options. So 10 to 12, do that. And you wanna make sure that these words have different stressed vowel sounds. For example, the word behave, have is the stressed vowel sound. Party, R, T is the stressed sound in that. Lone, own is the stressed vowel sound in that, or alone, that's the stressed vowel sound. So the long part is the stress vowel sound. I don't know if I've got a video on stress vowels. I do have a video on the list that you should be using. For example, example of vowel sounds that are really good are a, R, N, E, Ein, those are very good. Watch my video called Write Better Rap Melodies with this simple list and that will go through the list of vowel sounds that you should be trying to use that will give you better lyrics that you can sing and rap and that will be interesting. Especially useful for singing rappers like myself. Then when you have your 10 to 12 words, you wanna number them or lay them out in different sections like this. These were my words, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then I've laid them out in different sections by bolding the main word and then put in a bunch of words under it, which we'll explain in the next section. But here are some added guidelines that will also help you out. If you have a song title, put that in a list. Okay, so the title of this song was gonna be called Right. Put that in your list. Most of your words should end in a stressed syllable and put any interesting words that duplicate a vowel sound in brackets. For example, if I had right, but I also found time in my journey of finding my 12 words, then I'll just put in a bracket because we'll use that later. And don't be afraid to edit the list as you go on. If you realize you've got a better word or you don't like a word that's on the list, don't be afraid to get rid of that, add new things. If you want your music to be heard, you need to have your music on the streaming platforms like Spotify, like Tidal, like Apple Music if you're using that. And the only way to do that is to have rights to the beats that you're using. The good news is right now you can get five of my best beats for absolutely free. All you need to do is go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats. And those five beats also come with basic licenses so you can make songs on them and upload them to Spotify and actually get your music heard. And if you want your music to sound good, you should get my Spotify ready vocal mixing secrets template, link down below. Let's get back into it. So the next section is to search for words that rhyme with the 12 words that we've selected in the previous section. The best way to do this is to use a rhyming dictionary, but of course you only wanna use words that relate to your theme. I'll make another video on how to use a rhyming dictionary because it was kind of, it was kind of difficult for me to figure out in the beginning, but it's a very useful tool. I highly suggest you buy this rhyming dictionary, I'll link it down below. You can use an online rhyming dictionary, but it's not as good. And I've tested it. I've used the rhyming dictionary and then I've used the online one. You just get more, options and it's more detailed in the rhyming dictionary because they focus on the stressed syllable and you can find better things they'll give you phrases and stuff like that that you won't get on an online dictionary so then this is what we've done here we've got our main word and then we've got a bunch of different rhymes that we might want to use in our song so main word bunch of different rhymes 
Main word, bunch of different rhymes. Main word, bunch of different rhymes. I haven't finished this list. That's why I haven't started writing the song. But add as many words as you can that seem good. Don't You don't have to do too much to be honest because you're only probably gonna use about eight max of the same rhyming scheme. So shoot for like 16, maybe 20 because then you've got a bunch of different things to choose from. Next thing you wanna do is listen to your beat or loop on loop while looking through your list of words and start writing lines. And make sure that these lines fit with the story that you've planned earlier. I suggest using Lyric Studio, which is a great site for this that will help you with your writing process as it can give you some good ideas for your next line. But the best part, in my opinion, about Lyric Studio is that it also counts your syllables. So this is something that I wrote for this particular subject this particular song i just wrote this yesterday while i was planning this video and we'll go through it i'll play the thing in the background and show you a quick example but basically it's showing me my syllables on the left hand side so i can make my lyrics sound better if you don't have your syllables down it's very easy to just write stuff that won't work and this is called common meter although this is different than this 16 it's close enough Common meter is when you alternate the syllables. So we got eight hair, then 16, then eight hair, then 17. It was 16, but I just made a better lyric in, and it was 17. So I was like, you know what, let me just go with that. You can use my link in the description down below for a discount on Lyric Studio. Or go to jcarteray.com forward slash Lyric Studio. If you alternate your syllables from line to line, it will make your lyrics sound more interesting. So that is a big hack. If you use the same syllables, every line is gonna start sounding stale and boring. Take note of this, it's gonna change the game for you. For example, this is a short four bar, yeah? Roll the dice and we'll embrace doubt. Can't take no advice, we gotta try the route. Can't do hiding out. What's advice without a calm down? And I'll pay the price because I can't do without. I'll be down if you're down. It sounds interesting, even though I haven't, you know, added any melody or any real flow to it, I've just, said it out loud okay then the next four bars you write should switch it up a little bit then the next four bars should switch it up a little bit more so each time you move four bars you kind of want to do a little bit of a switch not too drastic not too drastic but switch it up enough that it's maybe it's different syllables maybe you're starting at a different point in the line it just needs to stay interesting generally i do 12 bar verses and then a four bar pre-chorus so six oh no i do an eight bar verse and then a four bar pre-chorus so 12 all together and then an eight bar chorus but the chorus should be very similar like as much as you can when you're changing into the next four bars those should have different rhyming words most of the time otherwise it can get a bit still if you're continuing to use the same rhyming words or same rhyming vowels again and again and again however this is a suggestion maybe a rule maybe a technique but with music you can change things up but if you're just starting out, follow the rules, yeah? Follow the techniques that work and then change things up once you learn the basics. Now I'm gonna quickly give you an example of what this actually sounds like, these four bars, by playing the loop that I was writing this to. But honestly, I'm just not, I'm just not in that place anymore. Like when I started writing that song, I was in a different place and I really wanted to write it. And then when I came to plan this yesterday, it just wasn't hitting the same. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't hitting the same. So I'll show you this. And then I'll give you an example of a song that I've written that's actually really, really good and is a really good example of this. Roll the dice and we'll embrace doubt. Can't take no advice, we gotta try the route. Can't do hiding out. What's advice without a calm down? I don't pay the price because I can't do it without. I'll be down if you're down. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. First off, I don't know the melody that I'll go with for this. <laughs> it, I usually write the bars get it down, like write, do a bare minimum type melody and then listen to it for days and then come back and then write the full melody and see what I like, see what I don't like, stuff like that. I suggest you do the same. You don't have to get it all right on the first draft. The first thing that you write does not need to be released to the world. Write your first draft, get that done, and then it's way easier to just edit, okay? So I don't know if I was on time with that because without drums, it's hard to tell. That's why I usually would record with a metronome when I'm recording to a loop. I highly do not suggest you write to a loop if you're starting out. Write to a beat, it's gonna be easier because the beat will instruct you where to go with its drums and stuff like that. But let's give you a better example, okay? That's an example of something that I just wrote yesterday that I wasn't really feeling that I just flung out, yeah? Super, super straightforward. This is a song that I actually wrote, okay? It's called Truth Hurts. 
this is the planning of this. So the theme is living in an old fantasy, but we can't hide from the truth. This is the outline of it. We can pretend it's fine now, but the truth is, is, is it's a wet situation and neither of us are happy with it. We could try to be in each other's lives, but in the end, it just brings pain. So that's what we've got now. And in the first verse, this is our exposition. Let's pretend things are in the best case scenario and we can keep going like this, like nothing happened before and we never had feelings for each other, okay? That is our exposition that's our storyboard and then these are some of the words that i've got in here now hurts hope i didn't do the bold this time and i think i didn't go through this whole process of writing the 10 to 12 words in this particular song because i was just so inspired when i was writing it that the words were just falling out so sometimes you won't have to go through the full for the full planning process if it's just working if the inspiration is hitting you right just go with the inspiration however this will prevent you from getting writer's block okay and even when i was writing there i did at some point find that i didn't have the words and then i would go through the rhyming dictionary and find more words or go through the thesaurus and add another word so you can do it in that kind of process you can kind of write and then add more words and then write and then add more words but that's more advanced i wouldn't suggest that to everyone so this is a draft of my song true first it's not mixed or anything right now but this is what we've got we're going to go to the first verse Remember, this is the exposition. Let's, let's pretend things are in the best case scenario and we can't keep going, and we can keep going like this. Let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before. Never had your head on my chest, in my arms like a vaccine shot. Never shared a bed, never thought that it was love. Mm. Never saw a future where it was just us. Ooh. Let's play make believe like we couldn't see it coming. Make it seem like if we had the choice, we wouldn't take off running, huh? Let's act like we love the way it turned out. Also smile with both our lips like it don't hurt now Nothing was the same Got me quoting Drake right now and then then we've got the rising action which i guess can kind of count as you know part of us so i'll i'll let it play through but basically the rising action is no matter how much we try and pretend and dodge reality we can feel something isn't right we can't live in this fantasy forever and it only brings us more pain so let's listen to what's going on there drake right now the same got me quoting drake right now nothing feels safe right now smoking on me to the pain bet he's at your place right now Tasting half your face on the couch Ain't it crazy how things change, huh? And the truth hurts We can dodge the truth or can't I run the universe All your thoughts are second thoughts I love that line, all your thoughts are second thoughts That's a great line <laughs> Oh, look at you patting myself on the back um, but here we have the actual writing process of it. I did write it in Lyric Studio so that I could get the syllables on the left hand side because it really does help out and helps with the writing process in making my lyrics sound better. Because if you see that it's like 99999, nine, 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 then you know, okay, I need to switch this up. This is probably going to sound boring. And if you see that it's alternating, then you know, okay, we're doing some good stuff. This is probably going to sound interesting. So this is how it was let's pretend we're friends like we never had sex before never had your head on my chest in my arms like a vaccine shot never shared a bed never thought that it was love never saw a future where it was just us all let's play make believe like we couldn't see it coming make it seem like if we had the choice we wouldn't take off running let's act like we loved the way it turned out force a smile with both our lips like it don't hurt now this was a really well written well written song if i do say so myself if you do say so yourself let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's crap let me know as well bye all feedback's great innit? well if you know what you're doing then feedback's great feedback isn't great from people who don't know what they're doing but fair enough comments are comments and it helps the algorithm now that's that with all this you should be able to write your first verse remember just get the first draft done write and get some rhymes out get that done as much as possible and then once you've done that, then you can go back in and tweak things, listen to it for a few days, see what you like, see what you don't like, change the melodies, change the inflections, change the words, change the meanings, and then come back and let it take at least two weeks for you to write the song, yeah? You don't need to rush this. It doesn't need to be out tomorrow. Take your time, let it become a very good song because the worst thing is when you write something, you're like, okay, let me just get this out. And then in three years, you listen back to it and you're like, damn, I was crap back then, yeah? <laughs> it's better for you to put out the best possible thing that you can put out in the next two weeks or the next month 
and then circle back in a couple years and be like, oh, that was all right still. So don't rush it. Take your time. First, first draft is the most important thing. Once you get that done, then editing's way easier and changing words and changing different meanings and making it better by improving it is way easier than starting something from scratch. So just do it. Do the first draft super quick and then take your time with editing. OK, now earlier on, I asked you a question and I'm a man of my word. So I'm going to give you the answer like I told you I was going to right now. That question was, what are two books that will make your songwriting way better? And I showed you those books in this video. Those books are The Complete Rhyming Dictionary and Roget's Thesaurus or Roget's. I think it's Roget's. I don't know. I've never heard it said in real life. But those are the two books that you should get right now that are going to help you write better lyrics and help you expand your songwriting vocabulary. Trust me, it really, really will help you out. I'll leave links to both those books in the description down below. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.